or even pure happiness. These eyes like to do the talking. I could be thanking someone for their help, or watching a really sad movie, or even just driving past a road trip. Happy or sad, as my heart swells up, so do my eyes swell up. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. Good evening. This is not the case for every individual. My husband, for example, post-childhood, has cried maybe five times in the last 20 years. That's my average in a fortnight. <laughs> Some people might find it shameful to cry. Some may think it's unnecessary. And some might even just find it plain hard to do. An article by Loma Collier says that there are several factors that play into why an individual has a tendency to cry or not. And gender is just one example. Biochemist William Frey said that women cry an average of 5.3 times a month. So I cry more than average. <laughs> and men cry an average of 1.3 times a month, with crying defined as anything from moist eyes to full on sobs. There are countless articles and papers, so much research done on who cries more, where they live, where they come from, their social background and status and class. But really, more articles even on the categories of crying and the types of tears. But for the purpose of this speech, we're going to focus on emotional tears, not cutting onions tears, <laughs> <laughs> and whether man, woman, young, younger, I encourage you just to think about whether you belong in the I'm a crier group or the I don't cry. Criers, bear with me. I'm trying to help the others to get some release. <laughs> you can use this research on your loved ones who bottle things up. First, let me give you some information on why crying is good for you. So you don't think that I'm just leading you over the edge of a cliff. This is based on actual scientific research, people. It's not just because I'm a crier. First, Crying is actually good for your physical and emotional health. Okay. This is because, number one, it actually reduces stress. When you're upset, the clinical psychologist Abigail San says that you have this buildup of chemicals in your body, in your system. So when you're upset, it's all built up and messed up. And when you shed a tear due to loss or sorrow, what it does is it triggers another chemical that releases cortisol, which is the stress hormone. So what happens when you cry? Tears are literally flushing out stress from your system. It's like a detox rejuvenation spa. <laughs> the second reason crying is good for your health is because it builds and deepens relationships and bonds. When you cry, Dr. Hassan from the Tel Aviv University says that you are expressing vulnerability. So when you express vulnerability, you're extending trust and building trust with other people that you're crying in front of. This deepens the relationship. It also helps them to understand the extent of their emotions. And then you feel more understood, and then the relationship is stronger. The third reason crying is good for you, it actually makes you more self-assured. In a study published in the Journal of Psychology of Man and Masculinity, it showed that football players who cry about game outcomes actually reported higher levels of self-esteem because they actually have the courage to express their emotions without the fear of peer pressure. So this all reasons why crying is actually good for me. Now that we've covered that, can get to helping the I don't cry to squeeze those tears out. <coughs> Bear in mind that Sam <coughs> also says that crying is a highly evolved behavior. So this means that it might take time. Use these tips and understand it's a process. 
to, to get the tears out. The first tip is to help you cry is to get permission from yourself. Therapist Dr. Steich says that when you allow yourself to experience all of your emotions, <coughs> then you're able to understand your feelings and deal with them in a healthy manner so that you actually process what you're going through and then you're able to take those emotions and make an informed decision or uh, help them to inform your actions. The next tip is that you should get mental, sentimental. <laughs> now that once you've it's, it's established that crying is allowed, and that it's okay to cry, allow yourself to be moved by music, movies, stories. CBSnews.com said that Richard Gere, the actor, cried like a baby when he read the script for his 2009 movie, I haven't seen the movie, but according to the article and actor Richard Gere, it's a real tear trigger. See if it works for you. Music is also another thing that can get you in the zone. Psychologist John Slobata said that the most mournful tune that will make you feel so sad is Rachmaninoff's Second Symphony. But if the Backstreet Boys works for you, go ahead. <laughs> Terence's weakness is father-son movies and sports montages. <laughs> Just find what works for you. The third tip to help you get the tears out is to get to know yourself by journaling. PsychCentral.com says that when you journal, your writing accesses your left brain. That brain is the one that's rational and analytical and tells you, you know, why you shouldn't feel things. So as you're writing, your right brain is free to feel and create, which helps you digest all those emotions and get to know yourself better because you're like right busy writing. This stress management expert, Elizabeth Scott, says that it's a really good way to get to know yourself, get to know your feelings, and have a really healthy relationship with some of your emotions. The more you get to know yourself, the more in tune you are with yourself, the more you can express all these emotions by crying. So now that we know whether you're a crier or not, that crying is good for you. It reduces your stress. It helps you build and deepen relationships. It also, the third one? Make you more selfish. Make you more selfish. <laughs> good job for this. <laughs> Allow yourself to get sentimental. Don't shy away from the things that make you emotional. And lastly, to journal to get to know yourself. Have that healthy relationship with yourself so that you can express your emotions, whether it's through crying or not. And if by any chance you go too far, you have a problem and you guys start crying too much, please feel free to contact me at triple A and triple A. Or find me at OGDC most Wednesday nights from 730 to 9. Thank <laughs> you.